It is officially fall, which means that we are fully back to our homeschool schedule. This means that instead of these long drawn out mornings where we sit and drink coffee and just kind of see, you know, where the day takes us at some point, obviously we get up and get going, but we are now pushing for a strict start school by eight o'clock, get the chores done before then, have breakfast eaten by then. This means that I need to pull together something healthy, something protein rich that's gonna keep us going all morning long, but in less time or at least have a plan for it. So I am going to be sharing with you today three back to school breakfast ideas that you can get on the table quickly and of course is packed full of nutrients. All right, the first breakfast I wanna share with you is pumpkin oatmeal blender pancakes. Whenever I make a big pot of oatmeal for my family, we usually end up with a lot of leftovers. Everyone wants oatmeal, but then they don't end up eating that much of it. So I decided to try to switch it up by turning the same food into a pancake. So to make these, before going to bed, I added four cups of rolled oats, a cup and a half of milk, and a half a cup of milk kefir to a bowl, and allowed that to sit at room temperature for the benefits of soaking the grains. This just makes them more available for your body to digest. This is an unnecessary step, you don't have to do it. It does increase the nutrition, but it is optional. Next, I added my soaked oats, a cup of pumpkin puree, two eggs, two tablespoons of maple syrup, two teaspoons of vanilla, two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, and three teaspoons of cinnamon to my blender, and blended it up. This gives the consistency of pancakes. If it's a little bit thick for you, you can add a little bit more milk, but this makes for a nice batter. I cooked the pancakes on my cast iron skillets and added chocolate chips for a little treat. Obviously you don't have to do that and serve them with raw milk, butter, syrup, all those wonderful toppings and drinks. The next thing I'm gonna share with you is potato egg waffles. Again, another way to switch things up. Normally, waffles are made with wheat flour. We're doing them with potatoes and eggs. I love wheat flour, but I like to switch it up. We feel like we eat the same things over and over again, so it's nice to have a really big arsenal to pull from. For this recipe, mix together two cups of shredded potatoes, three eggs, a quarter cup of milk, a cup of shredded cheese, I'm using sharp cheddar, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one cup of flour. You can do whole grain flour freshly milled or you can do all purpose. It can also be einkorn flour. I find that this just helps them to thicken up a little bit. One way that you can make this process even faster for a quick breakfast is by buying pre-shredded hash brown potatoes. I recently did a big Azure Standard order and I saw that they have organic diced and shredded potatoes. And I added them to my cart for situations like this where I wanna to throw together these hash brown waffles or add diced potatoes to a quick side. That really cuts down on time. and cook it in the waffle iron. This is really good topped with salsa, sour cream, onions, avocado. Any topping that you normally put on an omelet tastes really good with these and the kids love them. What I like about these waffles is they add an easy bready component. 
With eggs, we get really sick of them if we don't have something with them, like potatoes or something bready. And I like that this adds that potato bready aspect without having to knead and rise. This is a way to get some quick bready component with the meal. The next recipe for you to have an easy school morning breakfast and also switch up the usual is cream fried eggs. I actually learned about this when I had Lisa Steele from Fresh Eggs Daily on my podcast, the Simple Farmhouse Life podcast. She shared with me that this was actually a happy accident in her kitchen when she discovered cream fried eggs. Since then, I've been very intrigued with the idea. So to make them, add cream to the bottom of a skillet so that it just barely covers the bottom. Sprinkle the cream with salt to taste and then add in your eggs. You'll want to cook them on medium to high heat so that the cream and the eggs sort of caramelize and create that really delicious flavor. Once the eggs are almost cooked through, remove it from the heat because of course it'll keep cooking and you don't want to overcook the eggs. They'll continue to cook in the cast iron skillet. If they aren't set, you may want to add a lid to encourage them to continue cooking. I like to serve cream fried eggs with shaved Parmesan and some fried potatoes or bacon. It just jazzes them up a little bit. We have so many eggs here and so anytime I can find a new way to use eggs, I'm all in. For really busy mornings, it pays to pre-make some things. So for example, on the blog, I have a recipe for granola bars. This is something that if you have a free Saturday or a Sunday, you can make up a bunch of them and then just pull them out. Serve it with a glass of raw milk or some fruit to make a complete breakfast that's really easy on the go. Obviously also, hard boiled eggs with that would be great. Another option is the einkorn puff pancake. A few days ago I actually made two of these and we didn't finish it and so then the next day we just had one all done and baked and it was a really fast and easy thing. You can warm it up or not. Serve it with whipped cream if you have fresh cream or just butter. It's nice knowing that you can make this one ahead. I really hope that you enjoyed these recipes. I have a whole bunch more that I put in a list and so I would like to make more videos like this. If you're needing breakfast recipe inspiration, let me know in the comments below. I can create more videos like this. I love cooking on this channel and obviously in real life as well. It's important that I do because I have seven kids to cook for. Thankfully for me, I love it. So if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe. I make new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse.